Hey. All right, here I am. So tonight I'm going to at least start by playing with this free and totally fun software uh, called Virtual ANS. It's uh, something that was developed based on an old Russian program, um, if I'm understanding it right, called ANS. And where you could draw sound waves. Um, if you're seeing this screen here, this is a pre, this is like a, a demo or a template. Um, and the x axis is time, so this is the beginning of the sound, and this is the end. Um, and the y axis is pitch. The colors are just to help you uh, see at a glance, like the frequencies. So you can kind of see. There's a keyboard over here, but this is not really meant for keyboard style stuff. Um, I mean, you can see, let me see if I can, whoops, <laughs> I just gave it away a little bit. You can draw sound. That's the idea. Oh, okay, so right clicking will, by default, I guess it creates a line with, I mean, you can, you can create, you can have different brush styles. Right now it's doing something like that. And that would be like a really low rumble. Let me just play it and let you see, hear what it sounds like. Okay, we'll go back here. the lowest frequencies, of course. Virtual ANS. And that's not even it, because not only can you draw your own things, I didn't draw this. This is, I think, made by the uh, the guy who wrote this software. He's written other stuff that's also really cool. But this is the most... I wish I could... Oh, this is how you do it. This is the most amazing thing that I've seen. Um, I mean, you can scrub back and forth. Whatever tempo you want. So I, I mean, you can you could do so much with this. It's just an incredible thing to be able to play with, and it's I keep saying it's free because I just can't really believe it. Um, the guy who made this um, does sell some stuff, and I would you know of course encourage you to buy something of his if you think you want it. But but he based this off of an old piece of like 70s or 80s software, maybe even older than that, um, on the really old synthesizers. I don't even know very much about it, but I, I'm sure that you could go down the Wikipedia hole reading about all that stuff. But I mean, let's let's open up a different one. Well, actually, let's see. New. Um, let's see what this sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
So you can get all the cracks in between the half steps on the keyboard. Um, and there are other brushes. I am just starting to learn about this. But you can change the opacity of the brush so that... Oh, well, that's the opacity of the whole image. Um, so I guess I think that would make it quieter. Let's find out if that's true. Yeah, so the opacity determines the volume of the pitch. And what else can we do? Oh, these are settings. Well, you can't see that because it's a... Ah, oh, well. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. I just have some delay on my screen. You can zoom. Come on, let's see something interesting. You can record? Can you record? I'm testing. Um, it doesn't seem to be hearing me. I wonder how you set that up. Yeah, no, it didn't get me. Let's see if I can get that working. Well, poo. You can export to all sorts of... I mean, what? how many programs are there that, where you can export to a sound file or a picture file? That's just cool. I am failing to find the tools. I can't believe this. Where are the tools? <laughs> all right, well... Uh, oh, okay, here we go. So you can make a swell. That's almost infrasound. Let's see. I wonder if my speakers are cool enough to reproduce that. I'm turning it up. Oh yeah, that's like elephant mating calls. I mean, you could like... And then there's this. Which has, I guess, a stronger center point. And then quieter uh, extremities down there, whereas this is just every frequency in this um, spot here is the same volume. So what's this? That we know what that is. We can draw. I, I really don't want it to be dotted like that. Oh, but these are some fun things too. You can remove it all. I really don't want it, but okay, well, fine. New. So if you have an idea of, if you think visually, wow, that's so quiet, 
then, I mean, you could do some really incredible stuff with this. It's pretty exciting to think about. If you've ever thought of sound as gestures, This is a way for you to just draw them, which is so cool. I really want to delete all this, but I can't. Wow, that's too big. found the limit. Oh. oh, come on. How do I go down? Uh, hey. <laughs> come on. Okay, well, that'll do for now. Hmm. <laughs> Let's load up another cool one instead of me goofing around and stuff. How's this? Ooh. And yes, you can definitely load any image in here. You can import an image of Donald Trump if you want to. I am not quite sure how to do that. almost feels like I've heard some of these sounds before. So there must be some people using it in Hollywood or, you know, like somewhere where I might have heard it. Of this particular program, I don't think this is very old, but I think drawing sound is something people maybe used to do more. I apologize for talking over that. That was a really pretty thing. Let's load another one. Layer? 
Yes. All right, let's do it. See, somebody's skilled at this. Could do some amazing things. Okay, I'm just sitting here just saying, ooh, how cool, ooh, how cool. Let's try one more. Ooh, how cool. It's mirrored. It's the ultimate counterpoint. Since I'm not very adept with this, I'm not going to subject you to me trying to use it. But that is cool. Yes, we want to exit. Now. I'm going to stop streaming for a minute so I can set up more programs.